Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brightwood alongside Paul Goble. We're going to catch up on some men's tennis. First of all, Coach, let's talk about the great news. Let's talk about an alumni. Uh, Joe Salisbury goes down to Australia in the doubles. He, we, we know what kind of doubles player he has been. And, uh, boy, it's such a different level when you get there. And so great to see all the hard work pay off, and he, he gets a grand slam. Yeah, what a, it's hard to even describe how, what a great achievement he just achieved. Um, it's kind of like winning the Super Bowl, winning the NBA championship for our sport. Winning a Grand Slam is uh, probably the, you know, the best achievement you can do. So to do that, to be ranked four in the world in doubles, it's just a really exciting time for him. Super proud of Joe. He's worked hard. To do that, you have to battle through some tough times. You kind of work your way up the rankings where you're not really earning money for a few years. You're traveling all over the world. Uh, but that hard work is paying off right now in a big way. I know he's busy you know, traveling the world playing tennis at one of these big tournaments. Have you had any opportunity to, to talk to him since then? Sure, I have. Uh, we speak pretty much weekly, um, and he's just super excited. Super excited. He's, it's really nice because he's so supportive of our program. He's coming back to Memphis whenever he's in America. We see him a lot. I tr when I'm out traveling, I try to make a point to see him if he, he has a tournament nearby. Uh, we keep up a lot. And so, uh, you know, to see him doing so well, I think the part that excites me the most is I think he still has a lot more to come. This isn't going to be a one-time thing. I think you're going to see him continue to do well, continue to get better. He's playing the best I've ever seen him play right now, and I still think he has room to grow. All right, let's talk about some Tiger tennis. You're already underway this year. And uh, the next two years, we're going to talk about the reason why later, uh, but it's going to be road heavy. And this year, you have built a monster schedule. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we try to play the best teams in the country. That's what we've always tried to do. As you mentioned, this year, we're having to do a little bit more on the road than we have in the past, and so that makes it tough. But uh, we've started, you know, had some really close matches. Um, we have still a young team, five of our six players in the lineup are freshmen and sophomores so uh, but I can already see some progress over last year a lot of our sophomores have improved a whole lot and I think there's some exciting times ahead. Is there going to be a case this year uh, being being heavy with the underclassmen and the tough schedule uh, the mental game will that be the important part to say stay the course uh, wins and losses they'll, they'll come but stay the course because you've built this tough schedule. Yes that's exactly right exactly what I've said to them I think they're buying in, trusting the process, realizing it is a process and it's not always smooth. But uh, I really think they're playing well. Uh, college tennis is so deep right now that every, every match is going to be a good match. And when you're scheduling teams from these top conferences, you know that you're going to have a tough, tough day every time you're out there. Well, tennis is a sport that rewards this. Uh, it's not just built on wins and losses. It's really built heavily on the strength of the schedule that you play. That's right. You, the goal for us is to make the NCAA tournament. And to do that, you have to be ranked so high or win your conference. And the rankings are totally dependent on your opponents. So we're, in theory, we're wanting all of our opponents to do well all year. Whether we win or lose against them, just the fact that they're doing better is going to help our ranking. So. Uh, that's a big reason why we try to schedule as good. Plus, it just challenges our guys and, and gets them better. Uh, another big challenge this weekend. Uh, you'll go to the Vanderbilt, you'll play the Commodores, and you have a, a match set up with Harvard. That's right. Uh, this will be our first of three SEC teams. We're playing three next three weekends against some SEC opponents. So uh, we scheduled Harvard kind of as a neutral match. They're playing at the same place. So they're always very good, very well coached. And Vanderbilt we know quite well. Uh, we play them a lot, so it should be, we always have a very good match and it should be a really good one. Let's talk about some really exciting news. And the reason you've got to play a, a road-heavy schedule this year and probably uh, next year, and we talked to Coach Perez about this too, and, and it's out in the public. We've seen the renderings and, and the awesome video that right. the school put out uh, and the city is that uh, the university is going to be in a partnership with the city. Left Witch right. Tennis Center, right over here at Audubon Park, right next to the campus, right. uh, will become the new home of Memphis tennis. Uh, now some things got in there. They want to make some changes and there's the changes for the good, but your hope is what the next 12 to 18 months to be over there in, in a fully functional center. Yeah, we, we think um, it's just such an exciting time first off and because it's just been a long time coming not only for our program but for the city uh, to have a facility that can attract players, local players, open to anybody 
that can, you know, house our teams, both the men and women, and then can attract some top, top tournaments, top events of all levels to the city that can really benefit the city. I think it's just, it's really going to be an exciting place. And the plans have been finished. They're finalized. They're started the work. The bidding's starting. There's construction starting this month. So it's, we're told that the outdoor facility is going to be done by the end of this year, and then the indoor will be done by next spring. So with that in mind, as you said, we're having to play a little bit more on the road, but it's going to be well worth it because this, uh, you know, this will have a 24 outdoor courts and 12 wow. indoor courts. So, you know, it's it has a lot of great opportunities. Sounds outstanding. Coach, go get them this weekend. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Appreciate it. That is Paul Goble. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.